Thanks so much for coming. It's a real honour to be asked back. Thanks, Pauli. <laughs> yeah, last time I was privileged to speak here was in May last year. So um, it's amazing what can happen in a year and a half. Um, so on the subject of milestones, which is the theme tonight, a milestone is a significant event or stage in the development of someone or something. Sometimes you plan them. Sometimes they just happen. Sometimes they're awesome, and sometimes they're really shit. <laughs> Excuse my French. <laughs> but you know where the real learning and development happens? It's in working through those tough times, because the transformation at the end, where the butterfly takes flight, is really where the magic is. Sometimes they come out of nowhere and hit you like a freight train, knocking you right off your path. And sometimes it feels like you can't possibly get back up. Sometimes we label them as failures. Sometimes we feel them coming, starting as the little voice in the back of your head telling you you're not on the right path. And you keep getting knocked down and the intensity grows each time until you're forced to stop and realize something has to change. It's these milestones or failures that have brought about the most positive changes in my life and consequently to the lives of those around me. In the words of Brené Brown, there is no innovation or creativity without failure, period. Make Give Live would not even exist had it not have been for a major breakdown in a career I have lost connection with that Colart touched on. And yeah, I saw that one coming. I ignored the little voices in the back of my head I pushed through the struggle until eventually I broke. Make Give Live was born out of a lot of self-discovery, learnings, figuring out what my true skills and talents were, how to use my experience to do some good and help others with something I'd struggled with. It was a massive process and it was not easy. The whole journey, building something from scratch, is not easy. If it was, we'd all be doing it, right? But having purpose is so rewarding and it's carried me through some other major knockdowns. I know this stuff is not just happening to me though. How many of you have had major shake-ups in your life over the past couple of years? Let's see the hands. That's a lot. I knew it. <laughs> There's a collective bigger picture here. People are getting shaken up and being called to wake up and take action take ownership of their lives, align with their authentic selves, and bring their gifts to make the world a better place. At the end of last year, my 13-year marriage ended, and in the middle of this year, a series of other knockdowns broke me again. The difference this time, though, was that I knew my purpose. I had invested in people and community and I had the most incredible support around me that helped me move through the messy stage so much faster. The other critical part of my recovery through both of these milestones was in the letting go. Letting go of the dreams, the plans, the control. Burning it all down before it can be rebuilt. Being able to let go and hand the reins to my amazing co-founder, Becky, who's sitting over there, <laughs> was the best thing ever for both of us and Make Give Live. Becky grew this amazing sense of ownership and understanding of the big picture, and Make Give Live would not be where it is today without her. The gratitude I feel for what we have created is just immense. It's a movement for kindness and inclusion, and has taken on a life of its own bigger than any of us, bigger than any one of us involved. Through this messy time, I was having a tiny house built. 
which coincided with the rebuild of my life. When it was finished a couple of months ago and I moved in, I really started to change. My body changed, my thoughts, my feelings, my energy, my perspective. Like seeing the light after coming through a really dark tunnel. I am new. And I wouldn't be this new person standing in front of you had I not been through it all. Pushed through the pain, let go, trusted, and purposely aligned everything in my life with my authentic self and my core values. I knew there was a deeper meaning to why I called it make, give, live. You have gifts, you have stories, you have ideas. And you've had struggles and failures that you've overcome and setbacks that are yet to come that could significantly change the course of your life. Don't feel overwhelmed if you haven't discovered your purpose. Just get involved in something, anything you care about, you've struggled with, or that really pisses you off. I don't need to tell you the world is facing some major challenges right now and the urgency is building to take action before more of the damage is irreversible. We all have the power to do something to make a difference. Don't wait for someone else to take the lead and drag you along. Be a leader, be the change. Brene Brown says, sometimes the bravest and most important thing you can do is just show up. When our efforts are combined and we take collective responsibility for our world, that's where the momentum will build and things will shift. We don't have to do it all alone. We were never meant to. Maybe you'll need knocking down by a freight train. I hope you won't. But if you do, don't run. Face it. Feel it as much as it hurts. Trust the process. Let go. Be kind to yourself. That's been one of my biggest lessons. We're so good at being our own worst critics, right? Let the experience shape a new path for your life where you're empowered to release your magic into the world. Then rebuild, create new dreams, new goals, and when life is good again, freaking celebrate coming through the other side. It's so damn important to celebrate the wins the milestones that we planned, and we just don't do it enough, do we? Thanks to our amazing team and maker community, Make Give Live has achieved some great milestones, such as doubling our groups from five to ten. We, ha we even have three in Christchurch and a wait list of over 170 people wanting to be involved in groups around New Zealand. And that just blows our mind. We've had some amazing media coverage in magazines, radio, and newspapers. Picked up an awesome stockist called Kilt, who have 14 stores across New Zealand, and their conscious consumers can't get enough of our beautiful product and story. We managed to give away over 600 beanies last winter to Kiwis in need, spreading warmth, care, and a message that people matter and are worth a stranger making something just for them to warm their head and heart. So we're celebrating those wins and our people with, a, with our people with a big Christmas party next week, which we're really looking forward to. And I want to end by deeply honouring what Pauli, Laura and Colart have created for us here, especially Pauli pushing through some tough stuff to make this happen. It's a space to inspire, to share knowledge, and stories of transformation, to collaborate, to collectively build a new vision for our world. And that is freaking powerful, and that is worth celebrating. So happy two years, Move Talks. We will raise the energy and create momentum for positive change, unity, and community. And P.S., you're all invited to my Celebrate Claire party on the 25th of December. <laughs> <laughs>